It's time for Woodstock and the Chief You'll scratch your head in disbelief You'll say I can't even believe my eyes So kick back in that chair Cause when we're done you're gonna still be there It's time for Woodstock and the Chief tonight It's time for Woodstock and the Chief tonight <laughs> Welcome back. Hey, everybody. We are Woodstock and the Chief. That's the Chief. I am the Chief. This is Woodstock. That's right. And we are in Printer's Alley looking for some talent for the show tonight. We got some talent. And this place doesn't have any talent. <laughs> no oh, sorry. Music, no Lots music. of talent, but Lots no music. Talent. But we're going in anyway. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're here with Don Gaylord at Country Nights Tavern. And we're going to ask him a couple of questions, see if we can reveal a little bit of that deep, dark inner self. Okay, for the deep, dark <laughs> inner self, Don. <no. laughs> if you could have any of your songs recorded by current artists, artists you see on CMT these days, what song would it be and what artist would it be? Well, the, first of all, I got bad news. I don't watch CMT, so I, 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 I'd have to go by... Uh, How about Willie Nelson? If you could no, have Willie actually, I have to say, my, my niece is a huge fan of Luke Bryan. Okay. I know nothing about him, so I would definitely want him to record one of my songs. And I'd probably say Emerald City, because it's, it's, it's a catchy little number about I hate you, I hate Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, everybody hates me. It's, it's about, the, it's about the, the Toto, you know, hate you, hate Kansas, took the shoes, went back to Oz. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, all really blows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's wild. Well, now, you've, you've done some session work with me mm -hmm. in my studio and stuff, and I'm, I'm interested in what's your favorite part of the industry? Do you like the writing? Do you like performing or do you like studio work best? What do you like the best? I, I really love performing. I mean, for me, when you, you've got a, you know, that not, that magical thing, especially working with other guys or other people, male, female, uh, you're, you're, it, it pubs hopping. Right. You know, the vibe is there. It's magical. I mean, there's nothing, there is nothing in the world to me that matches that. I, I love to write and, right. I, and I do love, I have my own studio and I do love working in the studio, but. It, that's more nuts and bolts and mechanical, and and whereas that live performance thing is just magic. When it's working right, it's yeah. it's and it's, it's real time. Yeah, <laughs> it's real time. That's I true. think it's time, real time, time for the hat of destiny. Hat of destiny. Pick one and hand it to Jake, uh, to uh, the chief. <laughs> the chief. No, don't look is that at one. Just, okay. just okay. one. You, only, you right. pull, trust me, you only want secret one. answer. Oh, this is so easy. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Hands down. There you go. How there hard was go. that? Coming up here live on Country Nights Tavern stage is Don Gaylord. Hi, I'm Don Gaylord. This song is called Beggars Would Ride. Oh! 
already spelled and it wishes for horses. Apparently, somebody sent him an email. Yeah, and I'd like to read it. Is that okay? Well, what you, what do you guys think? Is it okay? Can I read the email? Can okay. All right, I'm gonna, all right, all right. I'm gonna read this. <laughs> <laughs> no way! You are not reading that. No, that no is way. great. Thank you for sending that in. <laughs> we'll be right back. You know, a lot of people. Um, that are not in the music industry don't understand. So songwriting's my job. That's what I get up and do every day. You know, songwriters, that's how they make their living day to day. I don't have a nine to five, I just write. I think music is probably one of the most beautiful things that brings people together. How many times has a song got you to one place to the other? Be responsible when you download. Join me and take the pledge at savethemusicamerica.org. Don't illegally download. We're here at Country Nights Tavern with Sarah Bolton. Hello. Sarah, tell me something. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite performer? Probably Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson, you think? Loretta Lynn. Is that, is that why you wrote that song? Yeah, why well, well, She's got a song coming about, <laughs> about Willie. <laughs> Actually, Willie's bus. Well, yeah, Willie's it's more bus. about his yeah. bus. Well, what's thing. so special about the bus? Why not? I mean, would it be the same? Yeah, I was gonna say we'd have to be there. I was gonna say. Is, is this a, a, like a Toby Keith thing? The, you know, being on Willie's bus. You know, I actually the first one I ever wrote was a kind of a spinoff of the uh, "I'd Never Smoke Weed with Willie Again." Being right, and, but then I decided I should just do an original thing, and I, I I looked it up, and nobody had written anything about his bus. So I did. There you go. <laughs> well, that was going to be go. my question. Why Willie's bus? But now we've covered well, somebody all Somebody had already that. taken the guitar, and that was funny because that's the reason I decided to write the bus song is because of Sam Cooper's and uh, James Buckmaster's uh, why, why, does, why does Willie buy a new guitar or something like that. There you go. Okay. okay. When's Willie going to buy a new guitar? He's not. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, likes the one with the trigger. hole in it. Yeah. Yeah, two holes in it. <laughs> he doesn't even name the guitar. I believe it is time I think it's uh -oh. for... The hat of destiny. Am I supposed to pick it? Pick a question uh, and, and I hand it to okay, Woodstock this time. Alrighty. All right. This is the, the lottery here. You have won the lottery. If you could make anything on the planet disappear, what would it be and why? Hate. You want to make hate disappear? I want to make hate disappear. Why? Because I am tired of people being mean. <laughs> Tired of haters, right? I'm tired of haters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds there. good to me. <laughs> All right. Live at Country Nights Tavern. It's Sarah Bolt. Hey, I'm Sarah Bolton, and this song is called For a Ride on the Honeysuckle Rose. 
Willie, this is for you. Well, I know that he must be a very busy man. Taking care of all those other Willie Nelson fans. If there's six degrees of separation, I should be real close to a ride in that honeysuckle rose. Oh, Willie, think I'm crazy. I do all his chores. I'd wash all his dishes, and then I'd scrub all his floors. My husband might get jealous, but I'd even wash his clothes for a ride in that honeysuckle rose. isn't all that long Just as long as I can sit with him and play some songs I'd even learn to roll a joint if he wanted one of those For the ride in that honeysuckle rose Oh, will he think I'm crazy? I'd do all his chores I'd wash all his dishes And then I'd scrub all his floors My husband might get jealous But I'd Clothes for a ride in that honeysuckle rose. I may help the red headed stranger around his house, but I will refuse to ever go against my vows. My husband can't get jealous, cause I won't take off my clothes for a ride in that honeysuckle rose. Floors. My husband can't get jealous Cause I'd wash both of their clothes For a ride in that honeysuckle rose Yeah, for a ride in that honeysuckle rose Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Thank you. This is J.T. Greenfield, the Chief, from Woodstock and the Chief, reminding you, Nashville, if you're doing this, don't do this. Please, don't text and drive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> We're here with Doug Tolston, my buddy Toast, at Country Nights Tavern, and he's getting ready to play a couple songs. But... First, we're going to dig inside of that brain of his. I mean, we are going to get a big spoon and we're going to dig because I've got to know, right. besides Tolston, everybody calls you Toast, there's got to be another deep underlying reason. Well, look, my last name is spelled T-O-A-L-S-T-O-N. It's a nickname I've had since I was in seventh grade. It had nothing to do. I'm talking to someone. It had nothing to I'm talking to someone. It had nothing to do with the drugs. Okay. <laughs> now, leave him alone. I, leave him alone. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. You can't take on him like that. That's, that's, hey. that's, that's my buddy. He keeps interrupting me too, bud. I know. Oh, we need to check you. <laughs> Oh, I'm the crazy one. <laughs> All right, well, now, I, I know that, that from our conversations in the past that uh, you work a day job. And, you know, so when's your favorite time to write? Do you write on weekends? Do you write in the middle of the night, wake up dreaming about 
something and, go, and grab a piece of paper and run to the bathroom and pretend it. Most of my best, my, and I say most of my writing comes when I'm on the road, believe it or not. And I carry a pocket recorder and I'll have something that'll happen to me and it'll take me to something in my life. Primarily what I write about is the things that have happened to me. What's ingenious or what's, what's incredible is you'll be up there on stage and, and afterwards somebody will come to you and go, oh man, do you know so and so? And I, I go, no, I go, that song was about my former wife. And I realized I wasn't alone. So that's, a, that's an important part of, of what it is for me. It realizes, makes me realize that when I write this stuff, it's, it's not necessarily always for me. It might have been something that I went through. But yeah, we're all connected. I mean, as human beings, we're, we all have this connection and commonality in our experience. This is true. What he said really now, important. speaking of commonality, <laughs> buddy, pick one out and hand it to me. Uh, the destiny. The hat of destiny. Thank you. You want to hold that for me, Tom? Thank you very much. <laughs> what was your first bicycle? My first bicycle was a Columbia. Okay. Columbia. What color was it? Uh, it started out being blue and white. <laughs> And then it became one of those uh, single gear uh, racing bikes for the Sigma New College at Bowling Green State University in Northwest Ohio, uh, where you had to put the you know the ram horn handlebars on it and take the fenders off so that you could get the mud slices up your back. <laughs> oh, sure. And uh, I remember my first bike started out to be red and white, and after I stole it, I took it home. Then it was blue and white. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't steal. <laughs> nah, nah, That's nah. funny though. <laughs> That's good. Live on the stage at Country Nights Tavern, Doug Tolston, Toast, the Toastmaster. Again, I'm Doug Tolston. This is a song that's called Crying Over You. Oh, man, my has been so long since we said our goodbyes. Oh, my, my, where we go wrong And let love pass us by And I still think about you every day And the love we left behind And if I knew just how to, I would say But the words won't come to mind Cause you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah over you, you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you made me do, you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. What can I do? You got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. And over you. Oh, my, my, why can't I see that you're never coming home? Oh, my, my, my misery. Me alone. And I still think about you every day And the songs we left on the sun And if I knew just how to I would say But the words won't find my tongue Cause you got me cry yeah, 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 yeah. Oh you, you got me cry yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you made me do, you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. What can I do? You got me cry, yeah, 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 no good. You got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. Over you, you 
you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you made me blue, you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. What can I do? You got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you, you got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. What can I do? You got me cry, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm still you got me crying, yeah, 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 over you. Yeah, you got me crying, yeah, 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 over you. Yeah, you got me crying, yeah, 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 over you. Yeah, you got me crying, yeah, 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 over you. that stealing from a store or an individual is always wrong. Just like Starbucks, you wouldn't go in and, and get uh, food and coffee and walk out without paying. You wouldn't really go to a car salesman and expect them to give the car to you just because you like it a lot. We can make a living on our music that way. and It's only a dollar a song. Help us restore the value of music. Join me and take the pledge at SaveTheMusicAmerica.org. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. Woodstock and the Chief. Woodstock and the Chief. Woodstock and the Chief. Yay! <laughs> We're here at Country Nights Tavern with Cowboy Slim. Cowboy, tell me something. Okay. When did you first realize you wanted to be a singer-songwriter? Or just a songwriter? Or just a singer? Uh, well, I played for a little while back in the 1960s, 1960s 70s. And then I, I played again in 1983. Just for, once? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> uh, for about six months or so. And then uh, I put it away and put it in the closet and I didn't do nothing with it for uh, another 20 years. Then uh, in 2001, yeah, I guess that's more than 20 years, isn't it? 19, 1983 <laughs> to 2001. Yeah, it's we don't 20, do math, we don't 20 do math years. on this show. <laughs> okay, anyhow, I was... Uh, I was an epileptic for a while and I was taking uh, anticonvulsants and well I quit taking them because I couldn't afford to buy them anymore and that was in 2001, January 1st and uh, uh, about a month after I quit taking the drugs it, it was kind of like I woke up from a bad dream and uh, I finally took the guitar out of the closet and started playing it again and then uh, about a month after that I started writing songs and here I am. So, oh, so the calming effect of playing the guitar helps you with anything? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I just, just think I just... outgrew the drugs. Oh. Well, that's cool. I don't know. I don't know. That's it. That's a pretty interesting uh, that's story. That's the honest truth. Yeah. I just don't know. I know the chief is. I knock is... on wood every once in a while, so I don't have another seizure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, Let's do the hat of destiny. Let's do the hat of destiny. Let's do the hat of destiny. destiny. What do I pick one of these? Pick, pick one of these out, hand it to JT, and he's going to ask the question. Oh, good. Oh, this is an easy one. Cats or dogs, and why? Yes, because. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Very nice. <laughs> that was good. That was a really good. Live on stage at Country Nights Tavern. Cowboy Slim. Well, honestly, I have two cats right now, but I've had dogs before, and I like both. They're, they're, it's nice to have a companion who likes you without having anything other than feed me on his mind. There you go. Okay. All right, then. Once again, live at Country Nights, it's Cowboy Slim. Hi, I'm Cowboy Slim, and this song here is called Don't Try to Buy My Love. coffee shop in San Diego she was working on a midnight ship I was looking for somebody I could spend some time with I was looking if you catch my drift I gave her twenty dollars and said keep the change her face turned to passionate red she counted out the money put it in my hand looked me in the eye and said don't try Hug me, you can squeeze me, do anything to please me, but don't try to buy my love. Six months later, I was bringing in the groceries I've been shopping, which seemed like hours. I walked 
in and handed her a, a box of chocolates and a great big bunch of flowers. She put her arm around me and said, what have you done? I said, nothing. These are just because. She giggled just a little, took me by the hand and said, don't try to buy my love. Don't try to buy my love. Don't try to buy my love. You can hug me, you can squeeze me, do anything to please me, but don't try to buy my love. Well, I remember one time I turned it around and I used that phrase on her. And loose change Cause things were as tight as they were A dollar forty-seven Piled on the table When she gave that pile a shove I looked at her and winked And we both started laughing I said, don't try to buy my love Don't try to buy my love Don't try to buy my love You can hug me Squeeze me, do anything to please me, but don't try to buy my love. Now some loves last forever, some don't last that long. When she took sick and died that year, I wrote down this song. She said I'd forget her, but it hasn't happened yet. I still think about her And that night we met Over coffee in a coffee shop in San Diego She was working on the midnight shift Thanks for watching. I'm Woodstock and I'm the Chief. And if you'd like to contact us about being a sponsor or to be on the show, email us here. Yeah. But all I have a party, we gonna have a good time tonight.